Hey YouTube Nation, this is Vane 911 uh, coming at you, talking to you about uh, foam sclerotherapy or ultrasound guided foam sclerotherapy. Uh, we have a patient here who we've already uh, closed up some major veins with laser, but today we need to uh, close up what we see under the skin with uh, ultrasound guided foam sclerotherapy. Uh, it's a very elegant way to uh, eliminate varicose veins. It's been used for decades. Um, it was popularized in Europe and, and uh, very common here in the United States these days. There's three ways to get rid of varicose veins. Surgery uh, with heat using laser rated frequency or chemical injection. And of those three modalities of getting rid of varicose veins, only chemical or foam injection you can get rid of any vein anywhere, anytime. Um, with laser, there's only certain veins, uh, particularly straight veins. With, with surgery, or what we term microphlebectomy or ambulatory phlebectomy, generally you can only remove veins that you see that are bulging the skin. But with uh, ultrasound guided foam sclerotherapy, therapy, uh, we can see every, all the abnormal veins under the skin, on the skin, and uh, by virtue of injection of this foam, uh, we can eliminate every abnormal vein. So. Uh, it's a quite uh, effective, uh, incredible treatment. And we do a lot of that here at Vein 911. So, uh, anyway, stay tuned. Right now, we're getting a lay of the land. Um, we are going to be very precisely injecting uh, this chemical foam agent into the varicose vein. And um, I once had a cabinet maker patient tell me about the cabinet maker adage, measure twice, cut once. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring twice, I'm, I'm getting a lay of the land of the veins that we're going to inject, and actually um, getting a lay of the land of the trajectory of how I want to inject these. So in order to do this carefully and keep all the chemical agent in the vein, I want the best approach possible to these veins. Um, so that's what we're doing here. We're just getting a a lay of the land, and if, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this was a saphenous vein we had previously closed. Um, it was just last week, so she's got a bit of a bruise there. Um, and she's already feeling better, and here we can see some branches coming off, and if we come down a little lower, you're going to see some very large veins, and this is what I call, well this is winky winky, That's, that means it's an open vein. Um, here it's uh, without compression, and then when I compress, that vein just goes winky winky and uh, that means it's open and you can see these are quite large or relatively large or close to the skin and um, we need to get rid of those so uh, I want to go from top of the leg to bottom of the leg because I want to get rid of that leak in the attic that's causing the flood in the basement here uh, so we're going to inject these veins up here so Sandra I am ready it will be momentarily. We have patients and can sing in here all the time. All right. Sometimes my my PA Amber is doing sclerotherapy and they're laughing so hard I'll pop my head in and say, Would you guys like a drink? You know, I mean it's like because I think some people think that sclerotherapy is a painful thing and it's it's just not. You know, for you get rid of spider veins, it's a needle that literally the size of a hair shaft and We've never had anybody hit us cussily for anything we do here. Um, but anyway, this is a tiny, you know, it's a 25 gauge. You need a little pinch, 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 pinch. And uh, I can see exactly where this needle's going. And I am right in the center of that vein. And uh, you want to get this on camera. I am, you can see the needle in the vein, and now I'm injecting the foam and you can see the vein literally disappear immediately. It, it spasms and that white snow you see is actually the foam. And by virtue of the bubbles, it's very echogenic or white on the ultrasound. And so previously you saw that vein doing winky winky um, when I compressed it, but now it's, it's totally gone into spasm. It's, uh, it's just literally disappeared and the only thing left is that little snow that's in the vein. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the ultrasound probe and I'm going to push that foam 
very carefully into these branches and it only goes a certain distance and if I go a little bit further down you'll see here's an open vein so that's what that's what the vein up above looked like before I put foam in it. It was a big floppy baggy vein but as we move up the leg you can see here's where the foam is. So that vein is literally collapsed and disappeared and that foam really uh, acts instantaneously. It destroys the wall of the vein and over a matter of weeks um, and months that vein will be reabsorbed by the body. So there's really no need in um, no need for surgery. You know, we, we destroy the vein and it's it's absorbed by the body. Now I warned Victor that sometimes I make some graphic analogies, but I think patients like them. But what we're doing here today is we're producing roadkill of these varicose veins, all right? <laughs> and and so these will become ten, a little bit tender and hard cords. So she over the next few weeks she's going to say, "Gosh, is this normal, Doctor Pittman? It's a little tender. There's these cords on the skin." And I'm going to say yes, and I'm actually going to give her a little paper that says it's totally normal. Um, and then over time the body will absorb this so it's a lot like roadkill you know it takes a few weeks and months for the birds and the worms to get rid of that stuff sorry but everybody understands <laughs> very good um, yeah good graphic but anyways so when we cut off those leaks up above foam disperses in an excellent fashion it, it really um, I injected very little, maybe one or two cc's, and we've gotten a lot of coverage of the veins here because they're no longer being fed by blood from above. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go find a, uh, a segment that needs more foam. But you can see just how ginormous, I mean, it's just a ginormous vein. Um, and, uh, and I'm ready, uh, Sandra. So... How much cc's did you Fill it. Yeah, more than half. That's good. Sandra, can you explain what you're doing over there? Or Chris? Yeah, here we go. What Sandra's doing is she's preparing the foam by mixing the liquid with, with a little room air, a little pinch here, and um, she's agitating the foam, which is a fancy medical term, and um, we want that foam to be fresh. So we can't prepare the foam in the morning and use it the rest of the day. It has to be prepared pretty much within a minute or two of, of using it. Um, it's just best uh, when it's fresh, fresh foam. Um, yeah, I think I would. I think we would make another four. So we've gone through four cc's? Okay. So generally, I'll, I mentioned earlier, we will always use less than 10 cc's of foam at any one session. I'll generally use between four and eight. Um, and I might use a little less when, uh, the first time I'm treating a patient just to make sure they tolerate it and, and do well. Um, birds are so big, um, I think we'll just use, we'll use more than four cc's here. And, and so anyway, you can see she's in really distressed up there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining it's um, <laughs> with your profile. You see how well tolerated it is. It's just it's just amazing. And I mean we're getting rid of veins today that are that are this big. Um, and we're doing it without surgery, through a tiny needle, with someone who's not yelling at me and and holding anybody's hand or anything. And without Valium. And part. without Valium. <laughs> if you want Valium, we got it, but well, last time don't. she needed it. <laughs> um, yeah, for the laser Laser uh, can sometimes be a little more uh, stimulating, so some people take that. But as we come down here, um, we see a little bit of foam in these larger veins down here. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more in here. And um, Sandra, I'm ready when you are. Well, I, I'm a what I call a recovering detail guy, so um, and a recovering assistant professor. Uh, so I really like going into details. Um, sometimes my staff will say I go into too many details. Patients don't want to hear that, but um, most patients don't mind hearing it, and they have a few questions because I, I covered all the bases. But 
at my website, uh, I've got a lot of information, more than I could possibly share um, in a patient encounter. And I encourage, I think the best patients are the ones who are best informed. And, and I think that if patients do their homework and um, check out Vein 911 and the caliber of work that we do, they're going to come see us. And, and that's pretty much what's, what's happening. Stand up for this. There we go. Little pinch here. Pinch, 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 pinch. Let's see the needle right in there. And we inject. And what a country. Better living through technology. So there is literally not a vein we can't get rid of beneath the skin or on the skin with sclerotherapy and particular foam sclerotherapy um, it's just an incredible technology so what we're going to do now is we're just, just going to have um, Miss March just lay back for five minutes and let that foam dissipate um, we don't want her to get up or move around just yet we're going to have that phone just sit in there and do its job. And I'm just pushing this foam into all the little nooks and crannies of her bad veins. And so we're going to put her in compression hose for about a week because now that we've irritated the lining of the vein, we want it to heal shut. And so that's why we torture people with hose for about a, a week or two. And then um, her body will absorb these veins over a matter of months. And in, in 20 years of doing minimally invasive surgery with catheters, guide wires, stents, angioplasty, laser and injections, I just haven't found a patient yet that would rather have surgery versus what we can do. Just haven't had any takers. Um, anyway, check us out online. We've got tons of information. Do your homework about um, the caliber of vein practitioners out there, do your homework about the various treatment uh, modalities in, in varicose vein work. It's basically, again, it's surgical, it's uh, heat uh, treatment with laser radiofrequency, or it's chemical injection with liquid or foam. Um, at Vein 911, uh, we offer heat therapy with laser only and also chemical injection generally with foam. Uh, we're proud to say we, we don't offer any surgery here. Um, ligation and stripping is, is really passe, but we don't even uh, pull out little varicose veins using ambulatory phlebectomy or uh, microphlebectomy. I'm not saying that's wrong, I'm just saying we don't offer it here and haven't found a need to.